Hello everyone, I'm Trin from Little Bonsai Corner. This is my ficus scattering plant in the tiny recycle part I've shown you in the previous video. Up to this point, it has been sitting in the pot and the tiny greenhouse for about 17 days. At the time I planted the cutting, it had no rules at all, but the good news is the tree is still alive. And today I'll show you the progress of the tree. So let's take off the covering plastic bag from the bottle. Okay, I've got several ventilation holes so the greenhouse, greenhouse can exchange the air with the outside environment. Even though I have secured the tree on the pot, I should be careful when I take it out of the greenhouse. Okay, here it is. I'll take the bottle down. By the time I planted the tree, I also down the survival of the tree. But as you can see now, the tree has arrow roots and new buds coming out nicely from all the branches. No branch dying off and that is very good i hope that the root in the soil is also doing very very well about 10 new buds i'll rotate the tree so you can see from all the angle the main trunk has very nice taper and movement the structure of the tree at the moment is quite flat, the 2D structure, but later on I think with more ramification the 2D effect will be disappeared. I've not chosen the front of the tree yet, it could be from this side. The side view. Coming back where we started. I'll take the tree closer so you can see the arrows clearly. Hopefully the roots in the soil are also doing well. Here is a string I used to secure the tree on the pot. It also has an, uh, another job is which is to conduct water from the bottom of the bottle to the soil. This bottle now becomes a little bit small because the new leaves are touching the wall. So this time I use a bigger one I have. I don't want to leave the tree outside too early because it would hurt the new leaves and roots. Because the tree has stayed for long in the greenhouse. So before I prepare the new one, I want to mist the leaves and soil and they will not dry out. So here is the new bottle filled with water for the tree. I put a layer of white stone 
into the bottle so the wheel iron shafts will not rust into your water it may harm the tree i don't know just in case As you can see here, the water has a light yellow color because the rust diffused into the water. First, I'll add some fertilizer to support the roots to develop. All are written in Vietnamese, but I hope you can see some of its components. About this much. Now I start adding the stone. a bit more. Okay, it's time to put the tree back again into its greenhouse. I should be very careful lifting the trees so the roots will not hurt. I think the water is a little bit more so anyway I have to take the tree out of the bottle and reduce the level of water Yeah, I think it is okay now. Now I put the tree inside again. Make sure that the leaves are not touching the wall of the bottle. and putting the plastic bag on again.
Hi everyone, welcome back. This is a tree at the current time. It was taken out of the greenhouse after about one month and ten days, but I still keep it on a tray of water to constantly supply the water to the roots. I have to refill the tray with water every two days, and I also add very small amount of fertilizer into the water to feed the tree. I'll rotate the tree again. As you can see, the tree has given the leaves for the second time and it looks green and healthy. Going back to the first view. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.